Hello, my name is Kevin Oliveira. I'm the Senior Product Marketing Manager at Forcepoint. And today we're going to be talking about data security everywhere, securing data everywhere your people work and anywhere your data resides. And I also have joining with me Jason Kimmerer. He's the Solutions Architect for Data Security Solutions as well at Forcepoint. And he'll be giving a demo of how this all works. First thing, just I want to share with you what it is exactly that we are uh, bringing to uh, our customers today. Um, with data security everywhere, the intent is we're looking to extend this, extend the same policies that we have with our Forcepoint Enterprise DLP across more channels, and particularly the channels that are in uh, Forcepoint One, which is our SSC solution. And so within that, there's three three key channels: there's cloud or CASB, there's web or um, SWIG, and then private apps is um, ZTNA. And we're able to simplify for our DLP customers the deployment of this CASB SWIG and ZTA solution of 4.1 and simplify it in a way that saves them hundreds of hours of, of work and um, thousands, hundreds of thousands of dollars potentially in time or in, um, in money um, for deploying um, this uh, capability. The big thing with it is um, often today, there'll be a lot of customers, they have our DLP and enterprise DLP, and they're also deploying a CASB and they're deploying a SWIG and they may be from two other different vendors. And they also have a DLP within those. And so they're often having to replicate the policies and that can be hundreds of hours. With just a few simple clicks as Jason will be showing, um, any customer can take their DLP enterprise uh, 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 DLP and they'll be able to leverage all of the 1600 out of the box classifiers plus any custom policies that they already have in place. They'll immediately be able to apply them to those uh, CASB or SWIG or ZTA channels without any extra um, um, configuration work um, that, of the type that they would if they were to go with a separate vendor. Other things they're able to do, they're able to gain, gain consistent policy enforcement across 4.1 SC channels. So they can policy enforcement could be completely across all of them from a single interface. Incident reporting forensics, all again from a single reporting interface. And then last, um, as far as in terms of data identification, things like uh, our precise ID fingerprinting, our natural language processing scripts, and our true file type detection, all of those things immediately are available to be uh, used by our, those customers that deploy the 4.1 CASB Swigger ZTNA. Next, um, Jason will be giving you a demonstration of this. Thanks, Kevin. So as he was saying, right, with a few simple clicks, you can take your data security policies and cover these new channels covering cloud applications, websites, and later private apps. So once you're licensed for Forcepoint DLP SSE apps, you can get started. Once you get receive that JSON file, you can then connect your tenants. Here, we're in the Forcepoint one side of things, and there you're going to upload and confirm the connection. From there, you can start configuring the FSM enforce policy. So you've already updated the JSON file from this point, right? Correct. Okay. And then you're configuring specifically within a cloud application? Exactly. So for each individual app, we'll be able to configure the upload, download, or even API unsharing use cases here. So right under the FSM enforce tab, that's pretty much dictating that the FSM is going to drive that action plan to remediate as needed. Great. All right. So the next step is you're going to import that same JSON file to the FSM, and that's all it is. So let's take a look at the policy logic. All right, so the next step is to import the FSM and that's all it is. Let's take a look at some policies. Now you said when you import the FSM, that's importing that JSON file. So now it works, it's already- Exactly, it's, it's, it's that simple. From there, you'll right. see all the cloud applications and you can make those changes from the policies. Okay. So over here, we have a basic credit card policy. Um, as Kevin stated, all the out of the box classifiers, the fingerprinting, the metadata labels, everything that you know and love can be configured here. And the biggest change will be the action plans and the destinations. So over here, we have the differentiation of proxy in line. So that's uploads and downloads. And if you have the API license, you can do unsharing, quarantining, safe copying, and actions like that. And this is all This is all the Force one CASB? That exactly. We're this will cover CASB as well as the SWIG as well. Okay. 
So once you take that policy, you apply it to your distinct users. Over here are the destination tabs. And this is where those URL categories as well as those distinct cloud operators are gonna take place. So over here on the top, we have the web piece, which is going to be able to introduce those URL categories from Force Point One. So you can see those web browsing URL categories. And then for the cloud applications, depending if it's inline or after the fact API, you can either include all applications or you can even designate Office 365, Salesforce, ServiceNow, Box, things of that nature. And you can simply just include those as needed. Wow, this is great. So all of these Force Point One um, channels you've been able to do directly within the policy within the Force Point Security Manager. Yep, all in one place. That's great. Okay, so here's a brief example of me uploading some sensitive data to Box. So we'll take this credit card file here. We'll go ahead and upload that. And depending on the action plan, uh, we can have different notification prompts display on the screen to the end user. Here we have the Force Point One DLP block alert and the data has essentially been stripped out of that file. So let's take a look at the incident log. So here, after we refresh the incident manager, you can see that new box upload has taken place and we have the credit card information masked. And then depending on the privilege of the forensic analyst, we can either download the forensics, look at the user and file properties and learn more about this incident to remediate it effectively. This is great. So you're able to see all of the, the SWIG, the web traffic activity with HTTPS, and then you also have all the cloud proxies, the Force Point One cloud, right? Exactly. Yeah. So uploads, downloads, uh, internal and external shares. We can take a look at all those different actions, plus the endpoint and network-based components and see all of the things that have taken place. Great. Thanks, Jason. Well, for more information, please check out our channel on YouTube. It's for Force Point Tech Talk. And we have more uh, videos around data security everywhere, and it'll help you as far as how to deploy it simply and then to be able to be successful as far as deploying all of these channels from um, a single interface. Thanks.